Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's daily astrology reading for January 15th, 2024 is the waxing crescent moody moon in fiery Aries, the self-focused sun in Taskmaster Capricorn, such style, the planet of illusion, Neptune in imaginative Pisces. There is an uptick in energy and creativity. Focus on creative projects. If mundane tasks are all that are available today, then make it a game or listen to music. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for January 15th, 2024 is Uruz. Uruz, the letter U. Its meaning, aurochs, which are wild bison, Robert strength. Associations, strength, vitality, good health, power, and healing. Today's context is, today your focus is on healing, so you can return to your strong, vital self. Your daily romance angel oracle card for January 15th, 2024 is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life, and they'll do so, provided that you listen to and follow their guidance. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for January 15th, 2024 is Always. Card 34, Always, Infinity. Play a song over and over and over again. This card first wants to speak of infinity. To truly understand life, you must understand that you have always been and always will be. You are a part of the divine source that rules the universe. Your spirit and soul are immortal. As the physical body passes from existence, your energy body survives, eventually to move back, to join with spirit. Your connection to the divine is never severed. You are never alone. You are always connected to the source. You are the vehicle through which divine spirit manifests on earth. Understand your divinity and your importance on earth. Appreciate that every other being on earth is equally important to the divine plan. This card may indicate that you have or wish for a special person in your life who will promise to always be there for you. First, you must always be there for yourself. Perhaps in the past, those who should have stuck by you did not. Those who you thought were true were not. Release old pain and habit patterns and allow your highest good to manifest in your life. Express gratitude. This primes the pump for a real long-lasting relationship. Another aspect of this card asks that you remember the elementals that are helping you along the way. Their devotion to you is infinite and unwavering. Your chant, 
I ever was, I always will be. I am infinity. My soul reaches out far beyond this shell. Within me, spirit has a place to dwell. I am. So be it. Today's daily starseed oracle card for January 15th, 2024 is Baby Steps. Baby Steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. You're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling. To start where you are and begin building in a consistent way. So many people stop themselves from living a soul-led life because they're waiting to know the destination before taking the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. Our soul is always calling us. Every moment of every day. The way to find yourself living in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your soul's baby calls and whispers each and every day and to take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You're being encouraged to start small, bite-sized, to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day to break things down into achievable tasks. Time on Earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause frustration for starseeds, who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout. If you resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. To remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. You don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take the next step. Your star seed soul inquiry. What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? Your daily priestess of light oracle card for January 15th, 2024 is opening heart. Card 11, deep connections, water blessings. The mermaid priestess of the ocean holds out hand, calling your attention to the right, the future and your many upcoming opportunities for connection. Her other hand is held over her heart center as this card portends to important relationships on many levels. The first is a potential for deep, intimate, romantic love. Your soul longs to connect. So allow yourself to release any resistance and open your heart to trust. The next is the kinship of friends and loved ones who truly resonate with your higher desires and beliefs. This family of your soul brings support and joy to help expand your consciousness in amazing directions, including the energetic realms. The rolling waters of the sea represent the profound presence of spirit and the depth of connections that you can now make with the vast spiritual world around you. These heart-to-heart -heart connections can be life-changing. So let yourself be open to receiving the powerful waves of inspiration and guidance coming your way. On the literal level, this card might speak of bodies of water in your experience and environment. You may soon find yourself traveling by or over water for personal or professional reasons. Your residence or workplace may be re relocating near water, or you may begin a relationship with someone who is similarly situated. Remember, whenever you are near water, let yourself absorb the magic of the energy and the power of its spirit. Offer prayers and thanks for the life force of water that always nurtures your earthly existence. Your affirmation, gentle waves of love 
friendship, and spirit are coming my way. I am grateful for the life-giving energies of water. Your daily energy reading for January 15th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you to make every task fun. Uruz says it's time for you to do some healing work. The Romance Oracle reminds you that if you want love, then your heart needs to be open. The fairies remind you that your soul has been around way longer than your vessel. The Starseed Oracle reminds you that every journey has a first step. And the Priestess of Light Oracle asks you to open your heart. Hmm. Okay, so it would seem that maybe that healing work that we're working on is that forgiveness uh, from yesterday, <laughs> which we might still be working on because forgiveness is indeed a journey. It is not meant to be easy. If it was meant, if it was easy to forgive the person, then the uh, hurt wasn't very deep. The deeper the hurt, the harder it is to heal it. Sometimes we think we've healed something or we think we've forgiven somebody for something right up until the moment that they do something similar to what they did before. And then the fears all come rushing back that they're, we're about to get hurt all over again. But if you've forgiven someone, really forgiven them for an action, you're not worried they're going to re-engage in it. Because if you've really forgiven someone, then their behavior should have changed. Because in the asking for forgiveness to you, provided that this is the way this came together, <laughs> in the asking you for forgiveness, they, uh, they would have changed that behavior. They would have asked, they would have informed you that they're going to behave in a different fashion. Now, if you forgave them from a distance, without them changing their behavior and they're encountering, now you're encountering them again and they actually haven't changed their behavior, but they didn't promise that they wouldn't. Don't be surprised when they don't. You might need to forgive them all over again. 